Right okay with it. Foster's in the rather posh Alderley Edge. And as you can see, I'm prepared. So hopefully the meal, because it's not cheap. I, I, it's got to be said, it's nearly £12, I think, for the fish and chips. That's chilli chicken. At least it's come with a sauce, but again, you know, these type of things, I like them with things, with other things. Maybe a bit of salad or a bit of rice, something to sort of brighten it up a little bit. Well, let's give it a try, because salt and pepper chicken always goes nice with a, a chilli, sweet chilli sauce. That sauce is really nice. The breading's nice and crunchy, but I think that was something like £7.50. Yeah, salt and pepper chicken, £7.50. The regular, I know I don't normally read these sort of things off, but it depends, really. It, it really does depend on when I do that. I don't think it's important that we look at the prices here now and the quality of the food, everything about it. The shop is spotless. The staff are super friendly. And this, like I said, they sell all kinds of different things. It's a traditional English fish and chip shop, I think 30 years in the making. They pride themselves on being traditional. And I like that about it. Yes, it's, uh, oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, it's a nice batter. The sausage actually looks really nice. Now, I think today's special it is. It's two pounds for the sausage. The batter is lovely and crispy. The sausage looks pre cooked which is what I like with it so sometimes it can be too white and too pale now considering the amount of batter on that it's not at all greasy you know sometimes you get a battered sausage or a battered burger and you bite into it and straight away you kind of feel there's a feeling isn't there where something's overly greasy they're cooking vegetable oil now they make their own fish fingers it says on the on the menu this is seven pounds fifty and let's have a look at these which would probably be called goujons in some places I'm not sure what that fish is, but they do taste nice. The breading is nice. Let's have a go at their tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is delicious. Mmm, that really is nice. Have a bit of the chunkier one here. Yeah, that's really nice. But better save my wife some of this tartar sauce. It's beautiful around here. Absolutely stunning. Some of the houses, the bars, restaurants. Everything is, is is gorgeous, well maintained. There doesn't seem to be any rubbish around or anything. I've seen police. There's even a police station, I think, which is rare these days, isn't it? That's actually open. Let's have a look at the fish and chips. This is the cod, and it's a fair sized portion. Looks nice. Batter looks nice and golden. The chips are nice and plump. And tasty. I like them chips. Well, let's cut this cod in half as I normally do. I go for the small half. Well, that looks nice, doesn't it? At first, I thought it was going to be too greasy, but it's not. Fish and chips. It's going to scare some of you, especially some of you on the east coast there or in central northern England. Eleven pound thirty for cod and chips, but they are tasty. It's got to be said. Back to the computer where I'll look at a, a few varied reviews and write my own. We'll see you there. Let's have a look at some reviews. One star. Very disappointed. We ordered for delivery, which was passed on to deliveries. The meal was late arriving, was not piping hot, soggy chips and batter. Not what we'd come to expect from Foster's. Maybe they're no longer interested in home deliveries, which they used to do themselves. Three star. Completely average food at a rather aggressive price. The fellas in here are usually fairly equine too when it comes to the metaphorical face length. <laughs> that's a bit harsh, but funny at the same time, but that's okay. Five star. Loved it. The other half said the fish was the best one he has had. My daughter enjoyed her pie. The chips were beautiful. Probably the best chippy we have had. Mine. Four star. A short trip to the other side of Cheshire brought me to Alderley Edge to sample some traditional chippy fare. The first thing you'll notice as you drive through the area is just how picturesque it is. A clear reflection of its affluence. Upon entering Foster's Fish and Chips, the chippy is situated on the left, while a street food section is on the right. 
both foods prepared by the same staff. Though the street food menu offered some intriguing options, my focus remained on the chippy side. With the staff being helpful and friendly, prices were on the higher side, likely reflective of the location, but the food was fresh and flavorful. The cod and chips were particularly good. The chips were plump and crisp, cooked in vegetable oil, and the cod itself was fresh, thick and flaky, encased in a golden crispy batter. The in-house fish fingers, however, were just satisfactory. They would have benefited from being thicker, even at the cost of a shorter length, to prevent the fish from drying out, as some parts had. The tartar sauce was a standout, with plenty of flavour and just the right level of acidity. The salt and pepper chicken was decent, though it could have been elevated with a bit of salad or traditional salt and pepper accompaniments, like peppers, onion and chilli. The batter sausage was a fair price and cooked well with the same tasty crispy batter. Parking in the immediate vicinity is sparse, though there is a reasonably large car park a short walk away. Cooking in, vegetable oil, hygiene rating 5, cash or card, Fish reviewed cod. Overall, it was quite nice. And we'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, subscribe, share it, like it, hit the notification bell. And if you have any recommendations in your area, put them in the comments. Thank you.